Good evening, everyone. 55 years ago, Martin Luther King wrote these words from his Birmingham jail cell. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We're caught in an inescapable network of mutuality tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. Think about those words tonight and their relevance to why you're here. Think about them in the context of this historic activist moment in our country. Black Lives Matter, the Women's March, Time's Up, the Parkland students and March for Our Lives, school work walkouts, people standing up for dreamers. We're at a moment when we seem to know and live the recognition of our mutuality. We all, all of us, have an inherent interest in the justice experienced by everyone. We are not spectators. So thank you for being here tonight. By doing so, you're supporting the poor immigrant woman who has been in this country for 10 years. She faces deportation, but now she has a lawyer to help her in immigration court. The father who after arrest and seeing a judge can go home to his kids, show up at his job the next day and fight for his case with his liberty intact. This, rather than sitting in jail, unable to pay bail, his kids uncared for, his job lost. Someone's son who is paying his debt in prison and seeks to get a college degree like so many of our children so that he can work and contribute and aspire and dream and support his family and put an end to the intergenerational pattern of incarceration in it. You're here tonight because you know that in your privilege, you must stand and speak and act in defense of justice. It means a lot to me and to my colleagues at Vera that you provide financial support. And you may not believe it, but it means even more to me and to us that you provide your moral support, your energy and your encouragement. 30 years ago, when I began my social justice work on the poor and black side of DC with young people not so different than my classmates at Sidwell Friends and Yale or my children today, not so different except for the accident of birth and the wrong zip code and all that comes with that, there was no support, nothing like this. 10 years ago, five years ago, we did not have the movement that we have now. And I hope you'll stay with us for a long time. We need you. But I don't want you to stop there, because frankly, more is needed, more is demanded. Vote these issues. Set up a book club and build your knowledge about our system of justice. If you don't like to read, set up a film club. <laughs> Volunteer. Engage your place of work to hire the formerly incarcerated. And if you're fancy, and there are a few of you in this room who fit that description, lend your name and your voice and your influence to this movement. Visit arraignment court in any borough and watch the proceedings. It's public, you can walk right in. Watch how those who are presumed innocent are denied liberty because they cannot afford it. Stop and think about what happened in their lives to get them there. Think about how you would feel if that was your kid. And here's the hard one. Think about the young men you pass in the subway or on the streets of this city. 
You know the ones, the ones who make you nervous, the ones who make you wary, and ask yourself why that happens. Is there a good reason, or is it just your reptilian brain processing the bad data that we've received all our lives about who is scary and who is to be feared? Know that you can change this. There's so much to do. The little things count, the invisible ones do, too. Do them. But most of all, do not allow yourself to feel, as I admit, that I occasionally do, cynical or nihilistic, or that what you do makes little difference in this enormous universe. Instead, Remember these words spoken by Bobby Kennedy, who was instrumental in this organization's early history, and let them drive you. It is the numberless, diverse acts of courage and belief that human history is shaped. Each time a man stands up for an ideal or acts to improve the lot of others, or strikes out against injustice and sends forth a tiny ripple of hope. And crossing each other from a million different centers of energy, these ripples build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. <laughs>